In this episode, we cover weight training for squash. We previously listed the topics, and this is the fifth of seven in the series. I will briefly define weight training in squash, discuss some training principles, and run through a simple sample program. We do this type of training in squash to build strength to make the athletes more powerful. This ticks two boxes in our model as it assists with sprinting speed and change of direction. Strength develops faster doing these exercises than any other alternative. There are additional benefits in that the strength gains in muscles, ligaments and tendons help manage injury risk even if that can take some time to fully materialise. We focus on developing acceleration and deceleration for multi-sprint and agility. We have adopted a lot of practices from sprint coaching for these exercises. Different accessory movements assist with change of direction strength. The principles are as we outlined in our second episode. Stimulus or overload, combined with recovery, lead to directed adaptation. We train in phases to get the results, vary exercises to avoid staleness and improve adaptation, and work with athletes to understand their maximum recoverable volume and monitor fatigue. Here we give examples of introductory exercises for athletes working down from the heaviest to lighter weights. If we go back to our sample pro week from the previous episode, we note two weight sessions. A sample of these sessions is as presented here. This is a hypertrophy phase, medium rest and weight, high volume. The programming is athlete specific and generally involves a hypertrophy phase followed by strength and power which means more rest, more weight, fewer reps, and then a deload if the cycle is repeated, or more typically, a peaking and maintenance phase for the period of competitive play. Most athletes we work with have limited exposure to lifting weights. Technique is the initial area of focus as a result, however, we expect rapid gains in load. Most of our squad will only do one or two cycles per year, as the playing season is so long, and we have no off-season in the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend that athletes hit the gym once they demonstrate an ability to train and not just play. Proper execution of a program will stimulate an athlete and reduce injury risk, not increase it. If your coach tells you that weights are a waste of time, give him or her a chance to do some research. If they still think that way, find another coach. Good programming is important for young and novice lifters as the fatigue from these sessions can affect performance in training and match play. Please like these videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow Squash Excel on social media, come to one of the camps at Excel, or contact us for remote fitness coaching.